Today on Island Focus, I have the pleasure of speaking with Kara Dolis, who is with the Legal Aid Society of Hawaii. Appreciate you being with us and you as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. We know a little bit about Legal Aid Society. Uh, what is your role there? My role is Technology Project Coordinator. And what exactly does that mean? <laughs> Well, Legal Aid Society of Hawaii is the state's largest nonprofit public interest law firm. So we provide services to low income folks primarily. Um, so legal services ranging in topics, so family law, consumer, um, housing, uh, fair housing, and a bunch of other legal topics. And we provide services such as advice and counsel, um, brief services, as well as um, full representation. So. There's a lot of direct services that we provide. As technology project coordinator, I'm helping to coordinate one of the bigger, sort of larger impact projects. So you, you've you um, shared a number of different professional fields that are required to work in legal aid, uh -huh. being an attorney, mm -hmm. uh, technical skills. Is that your background? Technology is not my background. Funnily enough, actually, <laughs> I, I entered the role as project coordinator with a language background. So um, I have my bachelor's in French and philosophy, um, but technology is so versatile and it is a form of language. Um, it communicates ideas and information to the public. And so um, I just kind of put together all of my strengths and skill sets <laughs> and tried to come up with, you know, a way that I could incorporate um, what I know in, in, and learn primarily on the spot. So it's a lot of on the ground, just figuring it out as I go. Well, and I think there is actually some segue because for some people, French, like right. technology, is a foreign language. Right. And the legal profession is philosophy. Right. Um, so when you combine your skills, uh, what are some of the challenges that you faced? A lot of it is learning a new language, right? So <coughs> technology itself is, is, is a language. And so learning all the terminology behind certain things, working with developers, coders, graphic designers, user experience professionals. Our latest project is with Microsoft um, and we're building a legal access platform. And so a lot of that is just learning to communicate with the different players. Um, and I think that that's been a, a challenge, but also an exhilarating opportunity for me. And so that's what I'm most excited about is just this constant learning. And how does the community know what's going on with Legal Aid? We have a lot of outreach opportunities. A lot of our outreach staff and AmeriCorps advocates go out into the community to events and, you know, do the networking one-on-one -on -one with, with people with brochures and pamphlets. But we also have, you know, videos, um, inf legal information videos that are on YouTube, on our website. And then this last project that I've been heading is the Microsoft legal access platform, probably connecting with the judiciary because they are one of our bigger partners and the library to sort of get the word out about this project. And so the public will have access, meaning uh, the ability to reach legal aid a little easier. Hopefully, and we want to not just have them be able to reach legal aid, but also our partners, our other access to justice organizations, as well as other social service providers, other organizations that provide help. So this idea of holistic services. And so we want, of course, them to come to legal aid, but we want them also to come to the right resource. Well, I get that you have a lot of challenges, but also a lot of joy in doing the work you do. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Lila. We've been chatting with Kara Dolis, who is with the Legal Aid Society of Hawaii, and appreciate you listening in as well.